So here we have our map of a golf club. Mm -hmm. yep. All of the damage is concentrated down on this end, specifically off of the 16th fairway yep. that we saw earlier. Uh -huh. So what I'm noticing is that there's this corridor of woodland where whatever's traveling through yeah, here is yeah, coming yeah. along through this wooded area uh -huh. and coming out, digging up the soil, and then dodging back in. I think what we really need is an aerial shot, something where we can try to see from above what's going on. Do you have anything like that? Yeah, I've got a gadget set up on the table already. I'm on it. And this time, Gadget Boy's got extremely high hopes for something truly spectacular. And of course, we need our camera traps on the ground, catching anything that'll run in and out of the forest. No problem, we're on it. This is a brilliant spot, man. If you can take that cable around the back. So this is our camera trap. The best thing about it, it's got a motion sensor built in. So if anything moves in front of it, we got it. That's perfect, man. Let's see what we get. So we're setting up 10 camera traps across the course, focusing on the T of the 17th and the edge of the fairway and long grass by the 16th. And before long, we've got evidence of wildlife all around us. Check this out. Fox cubs playing and a whole load of little critters that don't really seem to be contenders for our mystery night digger. But hang on, could an adult fox be the culprit? Talking of cunning, Gadget Boy has a plan. What is that? It's a remote controlled helicam. This is the actual camera that you're gonna get a visual from. This is some sweet tech. Just having a sense of the geography of the layout of where the woods start, stop, and where something could be coming into yeah. uh, the golf course from would, would be really helpful. As well as the forward camera shooting VGA resolution images, there's an ultrasound altimeter and downward camera to adjust the drone's height. And the whole deal comes in at around 14 ounces. It's going too high, mate. But there was something in the manual about practicing indoors first. Ah! 